Good evening, I'm News 3's Maria Guerrero in for Eric Franke. First tonight at 10, some residents in the small Jefferson County city of Waterloo say a proposed high-speed rail line running from Milwaukee to Madison is on track to split their community in two. The night team's David Douglas tells us why residents are rethinking the DOT's plans. Well, Maria, the rail line splits the city of about 3,500 people in two, giving it a north side and a south side. And if all were to go as proposed, it would look different as well, with a long fence running right through the middle. Right now, there's, I think, every other day, maybe one train, uh, freight train comes through. The view from the windows of Bob and Sherry Reams Antique Mall has always been nice. We like the romance of the old railroad track. It looks nice with our building. But with high-speed rail set to come down these tracks, they, along with other Waterloo residents, have a freight car full of concerns. Our main concern right now in Waterloo is road closures. Their street, Jefferson Street, would close under the proposed plan. It would hinder business. With the projected road closures, the fence, um, the automatic gates, the police and fire will have a great deal more difficulty in accessing residents. Laura Cotting, a city council member, and the Reams formed a coalition, started a petition, and set out on a search for signatures of any U.S. citizen who will sign. Because Waterloo is really small town America. I don't know how many people have actually lived on a high-speed rail line. I did in Philadelphia for five years. Garrett Perry lives right off the rail line. I don't think the DOT has any intention, intention of putting us in peril. He believes lawmakers and leaders will do the right thing, and that his street, Jefferson Street, won't have to be a closure, but can remain a crossing. Hopefully, even some landscaping along the route. I'd rather have a fence that is screened with vegetation. All good for the Reams and their room with a view. We'd like the DOT to give us a good listen and, and help us plan out something that um, will work for all the citizens in our little community. And while the train might make it through town in no more than 90 seconds, Cotting is most concerned about the crossing gates. They'll come down before the train arrives and only go up after it leaves, putting a possible two-minute halt on any emergency vehicles trying to get through. So how many signatures do they have so far, David? Only about 500, but they're just beginning, Maria, after starting two weeks ago. They're just getting those signatures back, and we did talk to the DOT today, or try to talk to them anyway about what that might mean. Well, there was no answer, and we're hoping to get one tomorrow. All right. News 3's David Douglas. David, thank you.